Hey guys, welcome back to the Rocky Ridge Auto Page. It's Travis again, and I am here with this 2020 Jeep Gladiator truck. It is an awesome vehicle. First one of these we've had in, and this one is like new condition, 11,000 miles. If you watch my videos before, you know that red is the color I would order, and uh, this is the package. It is sweet. We'll show you the features, of course. It's got the oversized uh, wheels and tires. It's a Mojave edition. You can see the Jeep Gladiator stickers there on the door. It's got the privacy glass and it's a removable hard top. So the back section right here, um, you can take that off. You're going to take the front section off as well. This is like a T-top, so there's two of them. I'll show you inside real quick. Um, so each one of these sections is a piece of the top, one there and one on the passenger side. And it's super easy to take off. It's simply just that. You spin this, uh, this latch here and then you can lift it out. Um, actually, there's a latch in the back here as well. So super easy, um, convenient, uh, but you do have to take those top two pieces, the front two pieces off, and then you can remove the rest of the top as well. A lot of people just take the front two pieces off and uh, just enjoy it that way. Um, but it is fully removable if you want to. So a lot of versatility there. On the driver door panel, of course, you got power windows and door locks. You got leather seats. It's got orange stitching in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks good. It's got the Mojave stitched right into the leather. Of course, your uh, headlights are right here. This is your fog lights, and then you have a cargo light, and then, of course, your dash lights. Um, that's a power outlet on and off. We'll go ahead and take a seat behind the wheel. Uh, looks like just 11,000 miles, so not even broken. Um, but lots of tons of life left in this truck, of course. These uh, keypad buttons here, that will take you through your uh, information center, which is up top right there. Um, Bluetooth controls are right here. This is your cruise control and your adaptive cruise. So basically, um, it maintains a distance um, as the same distance as the, the car in front of you. It'll keep the gap the same and it'll adjust your speed accordingly. So if your car goes on the brakes in front of you, it automatically uh, will slow you down if you have that feature turned on. Of course, so your, right, your uh, cruise control, uh, your standard cruise control features are right there. Of course, you got your, uh, your vents right there. It is push button start. So you just have to have the key in your pocket, which is how I have it right now. Um, pocket, purse, in the cup holder there or whatever. Um, as long as it's in the proximity, proximity of the driver area, you put your foot on the brake, hit the button, and it should start up for you. Um, so we heard the radio playing earlier. We'll turn that back on. Simply just push it to turn it on. Um, and yeah, you got to push the knob. Wasn't sure if you can touch the screen to turn it on or not, but push the knob. Um, you can adjust the volume. You can also do all the adjusting on the radio. Um, you, can, you can do that manually if you want to. AM, FM, we'll just kind of give you a sample of that. Here you can tune. Um, it looks like to adjust the volume, you do always have to use the knob, which is, it's super convenient, it's right there. Um, so we'll move to controls. Here you got your heated seats. It's got a backup camera. It's also got a forward camera. And it looks like it's got uh, recording options, so you can record, uh, I think it's up to eight miles an hour. Um, you know, if you're off-roading or something, you can record what's going on. Uh, driver and passenger heated seat, heated steering wheel, uh, of course, it has navigation, phone settings. We're not going to pair a phone right now. Um, and then just a number of different settings in there, camera settings, voice settings, um, clock, all of that. Climate control is also right here. To adjust that, you simply just drag it up and down. You can also use the, uh, the arrows right here. This is the driver's side. This is the passenger side. And uh, here's your heated seat buttons, your steering wheel controls. Sometimes if it's super cold weather out, it's uh, the electronic screens, um, the touchscreen piece of it doesn't seem to work quite as well. So they a lot of times will include the, the features down here so you can still use them, uh, which is how this one's laid out. Um, it's got auto start stop, which is supposed to give you better uh, fuel economy. It's got traction control, parking assist. So it's got the little sensors in the back bumper and they beep at you when you get close to something. Um, if you don't like the screen, you simply just turn it off. Uh, right like that. You can also tune manually um, with the knob there if you don't want to use the touch screen. Down here you have your power outlet. This is your power window controls right here in the center console. Uh, media, you got a uh, USB, and that looks like a, a, a newer style USB 
charging outlet, um, and then your standard USB, and then an auxiliary input. Of course, if you put it in reverse, the backup camera comes up, and uh, nice big screen there. It's easy to see. You can lock your axle in. It's got the axle locker feature. Um, if you do any off-roading, that is a that's a must-have feature. Of course, your four-wheel drive. It's automatic, of course. Two cup holders right there. It's got an emergency brake. Your handbrake's right there. Owner's manual's in there. A little bit of extra space in the glove box. A grab handle here for uh, uh, when you're off-roading and you got some crazy driving going on. Up on the sun visor, it looks like you got home link, so you can program your garage door openers into that. Still got the uh, lighted beauty mirrors, which we all need those. I didn't show you inside the armrest, plenty of storage space. Looks like there's a USB port. It's got an LED light in there too, I see. The orange uh, stitching is part of the Mojave package. Just adds a little bit of something to the uh, to the interior. I'll show you inside the back real quick. Plenty of space back here. Fold down armrest. Two cup holders right there. It's got a sliding rear window. You can open that up if you want to. It's got the sound bar in the back, so when you get the top down, you can easily hear the, the stereo system. Looks like you got some kind of cargo containment system here. Um, elastic uh, bag to store stuff on the back there. Factory floor mats. Obviously we're making our way around the back. It's got the towing hitch, along with nice big tow hooks for pulling people out. The tonneau cover is already on it, so that's a, a nice extra feature that it comes with. Looks like it's got some type of running board there on the side. Around to the front, you got LED marker lights in the plastic there, fog lights down there. There you can see the LEDs in the fender flare, but they're also around the headlight, which looks super cool. Um, hood scoop in the center of the hood there, looks awesome. Go ahead and open this up. There's no hood latch on these, it's simply just pull those, pull those two handles. Obviously, we're showing you under the hood here. It's a 3.6 V6, and it's running now. It's pretty quiet. Um, real quiet, actually. It sounds like brand new, of course. Um, we still have some warranty left as well, up to 60,000 on the drivetrain on these things, I believe. Um, but uh, 3.6 has been a good engine. They put that in a lot of Jeeps, and uh, it is in this. This one is no exception. So. Again, it's a 2020. Uh, Jeep Gladiator, 11,000 miles, like new condition. Stop by and check it out. We are here at 480 North Reading Road, Ephrata, PA, 17522. Give us a call first, just to make sure it's available. 717-733-8985. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.